Okay then, we're going to solve these two simultaneous equations by elimination. First thing to notice is different number of x's, different number of y's, can't solve it as it stands yet, so therefore we need to multiply both equations to make the same number of x's or the same number of y's. I'm going to do x's. Looking at those, I've got three x's in the top equation, two x's in the bottom equation. If I times the top equation by two and the bottom equation by three, I should end up with six x's in both equations. So, but if I'm times in the top equation by 2, everything needs to be multiplied by 2. 2 times 3x, 6x. 2 times 2y, 4y. 2 times 7, 14. Similarly, on the bottom, I'm multiplying by 3 this time. 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times by minus 3y, minus 9y. 3 times 9, 27. So we now have the same number of x's in both equations. My next step is then to eliminate them. And I know a lot of you use the DAS method, different signs add, same sign subtract. And that does help you work out whether it's adding or subtracting the equations. But what you've got to be careful of is looking at the right letters. And I'm looking at x's this time because these are the same number. Those signs are the same, so I subtract. So let's do that. 6x, take away 6x. X's disappear, fine. 4y minus minus 9y. Now, minus minus makes plus. 4y plus 9y is 13y. But I know a lot of you struggle a little bit with the direct numbers, so you can just stick it in your calculator. 4 minus minus 9 equals 13. So 13y is equal to 14 minus 27. Well, again, if you're struggling, stick the numbers in there, and you get minus 13. The next thing to do is divide both sides by 13 to end up with 1y. Again, if you're not 100% certain what you're doing, use the calculator, and we end up with y is minus 1. So, we're halfway to getting our solution. But what I need to do next is find out what the corresponding x value is. I know what y is, it's minus 1. I can substitute that into either equation, and I will end up with an equation which will give me the x value. I'm going to choose the top one. So, 3x plus 2 times y, 2 times minus 1 is equal to 7. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, so 3x minus 2 is 7. Add 2 to both sides, and we get that 3x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 3, and we end up with x is equal to 3. So there is my solution. x is 3, y is minus 1. But I can check this, and it's a good idea to do so, just to make sure you've got the answer right. So check, use the other equation, this one here, swap in my x and y values, and I end up with 2 times by 3, oops, not plus, sorry, minus 3 times by minus 1 is equal to 9. So the x is 3, the y is minus 1 in there. Work it out, again, if you want to, stick the numbers in your calculator, 2 times 3 minus 3 times by minus 1 equals 9. So you get 9 is equal to 9, brilliant. Our solution works, therefore the answer is x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 1. There we have a very easy 3 or 4 marks in our GCSE examination. Thank you.